Well, nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine, he says mm. rather grimly. One of you can come see Master Darrow. It is likely useful for me to talk to him. Do you have any weapons on you? Mastus gives him a glance. I don't tend to carry weapons, no. But would you permit a search? Yeah, go right ahead. Astus asks him to step down, and uh, he removes his gauntlets. I step down. Astus gives him a pat down. You do not find any weapons. A damn thing. This way. And he leads him towards the tent, which is probably the only thing that hasn't burnt down. Astus uh, holds the tent flap open and motions. And within there are three men. There's a young man uh, who's... Looks like he's had a very serious leg wound bandaged rather skillfully. And uh, he sits up a little with his um, hand on his long sword, but has this motions for him to calm down. And he relaxes a little. He's got fair skin and brown hair. He looks like he's just reached manhood. There is a gentleman, maybe slightly older than the first gentleman just described, but not by a great deal. Has noble clothing but certainly kind of quite threadbare has a kind of a, um, weather beaten look on his face as well so clearly he's been in the outdoors for a little while he seems to be kind of being quite attentive over the third person in this tent with a, probably a slight look of concern he's got a um, small cast iron bucket that seems to have some coals in it quite even like a little table with lots of, kind of vials and uh, little boxes uh, some of which are open and containing who knows what in this light but he also has a, a scabbard at his hip and has a bearing possibly that he might be able to know the last gentleman who is sitting up and smiling very weakly, clearly looking, in the light it's difficult to say, but clearly looking quite ill, sweating profusely, has curly shoulder-length hair that's kind of quite dishevelled, um, some of it which is kind of pussing over and sticking to his forehead. He has uh, what should be a tremendous moustache that looks like it's more like some unruly hedge and he's kind of got a the growing of an unkempt beard underneath the moustache and around his chin. Uh, like the person tending to him, he too is wearing some very fine clothes that look threadbare. Generally, despite the smile, he looks quite unwell. The tent's quite dark and dingy, so it probably takes you a little bit of time for your eyes to adjust. There is, on the floor, it was a wanted poster treachery against the Brokian crown and a reward dead or alive of 5,000 gold pieces for Lucio Dero. The warrior watches his reaction to that carefully. I look it over and I say, so the reward has gone up since last time I checked. Has to ask Talon if Lucio is cognizant. Uh, he is um, as well as can be Expected. Do you have a moment, Hastus? Hastus walks over. Uh, perhaps outside the tent? Says Andorin. And Hastus just kind of gives him a look like passing responsibility. And then he steps out through the hole. To speak with Tom. You did a great job on binding the wound, but um, whatever you gave him uh, is probably only slowing down whatever was on the blades that they stabbed him with. I'm trying to examine what it was now, but um, he's still in danger. Ah, I may have another remedy which could help. I suppose we should administer that sooner rather than later. We probably don't want to stay here too long, and therefore um, if we're going to move him, then uh, I'd certainly prefer that we move him having nullified its effects, or at least dealt with them in a more satisfactory manner. That's just nods. And uh, he reaches into his mm, pack, pulls out a vial. I'll go back inside and give it to him. Very well. Has to hold up a finger to uh, their halfling guest. Says, just a moment. Oh, more things to drink, of course. I don't suppose, Hastus, 
you've got any of that, any of what Melina gave us, that Elven brandy. I could do with some of that about now. Drink your medicine first. Earlier. My nerves, they're not what they were. You pat your hand. Hestus gives him a pat on the shoulder. Feeling a bit tired now. Might have a sleep. Yes, maybe have a sleep. Hold on, hold on. Hestus uh, gives him a little shake. <laughs> Do you recognize this man? Any motions towards their guest? Uh, he's very small, isn't he? Lord Darrow, I am a friend of... Oh, Lord, of Lord Viserys. You're, you're with Victor, aren't you? Yes, yes. good voice. Yes, I remember. Good voice, has. I'm afraid I must apologize for my current state, good sir. I, you have me at a disadvantage. Julian Alfred Prankras, and by the looks of things, those who attacked you are in a much worse state than you. Astus gives Lucio a slap on the cheek a little. <laughs> He draws out the side of his mouth, tongue sticking out. Uh. Has, has to cleans that up. Say, so I might have something to help, and I produce the vial the, al- the alchemist gave us. Has to, yeah. has to nods and he hands it off to Tolan. Ah, yes. Yes, he's he's already had this, but it's good that we've got another one. It'll, it'll buy us a bit more time, Hastus. It should at least see him through the night. My fear at the moment is that he won't wake up once once he sleeps for the night. Hesse uh, says, if we had a sample of what was used, could you make an antitoxin? I could at least try. I, I don't have the equipment I'm used to, but I could try. To at least to understand what it is and what we're facing. Hesse pulls out the vials he collected off the assassin, and he presents them to Tolan. I'll have to study these to see what they are. At least one of them will be the poison used, which could be useful at least to know. How long are, are we looking to stay here, Hastus? I don't think we should stay too long. I think Lucio will be determining how long we stay, whether or not he's capable of moving. If you would, you seem to be a friend of Lucio, at least. So it seems. He says the man seems very wary. But if you'd be willing to lend us your conveyance, or at least help us carry Lucio with it, we can make good time back you to somewhere safer than here. Yep. Yes, of course. We might be able to nurse him on the road. As it stood, we had we had no way of getting him anywhere. Yes. Now, now the car. Yes. 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 That would at least I would at least be able to work during the journey. In that case, where where would you go from here, though? Where, where, where is Sanctuary? Back down the road to the trade post, Fort Lavenka. Another where... fort? Is it like this? Similar. I believe they were sister forts back when, back when Rostland was still a country. I have men there and people who may be able to help. It's at least not Brevoy. <laughs> it's at least not close to Brevoy, where more spies can come for Lucia. Just know that now both the ha- the houses of Aseri and Lucio's own house are now directly involved. Yes, the situation seems to be worsening by the day. 